The Untold Secrets of Famous Reclusive Geniuses Welcome to Science Delhi, where we unveil the mysteries of the world's most fascinating minds. Today, we are delving into the untold secrets of famous reclusive geniuses. These individuals, while avoiding the public eye, have left an indelible mark on history. So, why did they choose seclusion? And how did their solitude shape their incredible contributions? Stay tuned as we explore the lives of these enigmatic figures. And do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. First, let us journey into the quiet life of Emily Dickinson. Known today as one of America's greatest poets, Dickinson published only 10 poems during her lifetime. Her preferred form of communication? Letters. For the last two decades of her life, she rarely left her Massachusetts home, finding solace and inspiration in her isolation. Marcel Proust, the genius behind, in search of lost time, also led a life shrouded in mystery. After the death of his parents, Proust retreated from society, soundproofing his bedroom to shut out the world. It was in this seclusion that he penned his magnum opus, a work that continues to be celebrated today. Emily Bronte, author of the English classic, Wuthering Heights, lived a life equally secluded. Raised in the English countryside, Bronte rarely ventured beyond her family estate, finding companionship in her beloved dog, Keeper. Her only novel remains a testament to her solitary genius. Betty Page, the iconic 20th century pinup model, vanished from the spotlight at the height of her fame. Struggling with mental health issues, Page's sudden disappearance left the public bewildered, leading to widespread speculation about her fate. J.D. Salinger, author of The Catcher in the Rye, became a literary sensation. But Salinger shunned the limelight, retreating into a reclusive life in New Hampshire. Despite, or perhaps because of, his mysterious withdrawal, his work continues to resonate with readers worldwide. Even Albert Einstein, one of the most recognizable figures in science, valued his privacy. Despite his fame, Einstein chose to live without a telephone to protect his solitude, allowing him to focus on his groundbreaking theories. Stanley Kubrick, the visionary director of 2001, A Space Odyssey, was known for his reclusive nature. Kubrick's aversion to public appearances was so profound that an imposter once successfully masqueraded as him for weeks. Harper Lee, the celebrated author of To Kill a Mockingbird, spent her final years in seclusion, following a stroke in 2007. She maintained contact with only a few close friends, including her confidant, Wayne Flint. Fashion legend Yves Saint Laurent, despite his prominence in the fashion world, sought refuge in solitude. His longtime partner, Pierre Bourget, described how Laurent's battles with depression led him to withdraw from the public eye entirely. Franz Kafka, famed for The Metamorphosis, experienced profound isolation throughout his life. His struggles with self-worth and relationships drove him to seek solace in solitude, where he produced some of his most influential works. Edgar Allan Poe, a pioneer of the horror genre, descended into isolation after the death of his wife, Virginia. His grief and addiction led him to withdraw from society, culminating in his mysterious death. Hunter S. Thompson, known for his fearless journalism, spent his later years in increasing isolation on his Colorado ranch. His struggles with alcoholism and mental health eventually led to his tragic suicide in 2005. Dr. Seuss, beloved for his whimsical children's books, wrote in seclusion, fearing that meeting his young readers would disappoint them. His quiet nature starkly contrasted with the vibrant world he created in his stories. Frédéric Chopin, a revered romantic composer, preferred the solitude of his music. Despite his acclaim, Chopin performed live only 30 times, finding comfort in his private world. Lastly, Edvard Munch, the artist behind The Scream, spent the last 27 years of his life in near-total seclusion. Surrounded by his beloved paintings, Munch lived a reclusive life, indifferent to the outside world. These reclusive geniuses, despite their desire for solitude, have left an enduring legacy. Their stories remind us that even in isolation, brilliance can flourish. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know in the comments which reclusive genius you found most intriguing. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more captivating stories from Science Deli.